Jamba strikes again, this time with an instruction fine-tuned model, Jamba Instruct. For you to understand how significant this model is, there are two things that I would like to remind. One, first of all, Transformers has been the go-to deep learning architecture for a lot of LLMs, large language models that we see. But Transformers have its own disadvantages. And that is where a different type of architecture called Mamba came into picture. But Mamba itself was not sufficient enough for everybody to start using an alternative architecture. For people to even believe that this architecture can help, it required a certain amount of time and also effort. And that is how Jamba came in from AI21 Labs. Now with Jamba, which was a base model, which was not very suitable for a lot of tasks like for example, chatbot or question and answering, AI21 Labs have officially released Jamba Instruct. And this model is an instruction fine-tuned model of Jamba, which is technically a NSSM a transformer Jamba model. So this is available for commercial use. That's what they're saying. And this model is available for public preview on AI21 platform. So now what is this model? This model has been fine-tuned based on the Jamba as a base model. And this model gives a very decent amount of competition to Mixtral 8x7 billion parameter model and Llama 3 8 billion parameter model. The, I, I really truly appreciate the fact that they released a benchmark where they literally compared a model that was released a couple of weeks back instead of many benchmarks that like compares models that were released very old. So if you see Jamba, the pink color, uh, it's a terrible graph to be honest. But anyways, keeping the data visualization skills aside, if you see Jamba, Jamba Instruct specifically, uh, it is doing a better than Mixtral 8x7 billion parameter model on GSM 8K, which evaluates the math and also on benchmarks like MMLU and uh, Arc Challenge and Winograde, you can see that it consistently performs better than or sometimes on par with either of these models. So this shows that fine tuning Mamba based Jamba model has got some potential. See, to be really honest, a lot of people still think Mamba is just a research endeavor, which I do not necessarily disagree with. But the fact that there is a company that is doubling down on a new architecture that alternatively could provide a great alternative that alternatively could provide a great alternative for what transformers have been the king of deep learning models, especially in the text generation space. The greatest advantage of Jamba based models are truly benefited when you increase the context size or context window, which is not very straightforward and easy, especially with the compute for, uh, let's say, like if you use transformer based models. So if you can see here in Jamba, so the Llama 3 8 billion parameter model has got a very low context window. In this case, I don't appreciate necessarily this one because there are a lot of rope ROPE based context window uh, efficiency uh, that they have uh, people have uh, uh, figured out to increase the context window of Llama 3 based models. But anyways, Jamba is saying that uh, they have got uh, 256,000 context window and uh, they're claiming that it is more economically accessible. But unfortunately, there is no pricing related information anywhere on this particular page. Uh, so there is no information about it at all. The next thing is uh, the benchmarks for long context performance. You can see the Jamba based model consistently beats the Mixtral 8x7 billion parameter model. So you can see that Mixtral 8x7 billion parameter model has scored 0.33 QA on earning calls, while Jamba has scored 0.45 natural questions, common knowledge QA on Wikipedia. You have got 0.63 in Jamba and Mixtral has scored just 0.52. So consistently across the benchmarks, Jamba is doing better. And I mean, that's quite obvious given that you are exploring the long context, but still Jamba is holding up. And um, I mean, this is overall a good model, as you can see here from Jamba to Jamba Instruct and AI21 Labs have done their uh, effort in fine tuning the model and releasing the model. And they said it is also commercially available or it's re reliable and is available for commercial use. The only, I guess, uh, the thing that I did not accept, expect is that 
there is no reference to this model being an open source model there is no uh, information about whether this model ha will be open source the only reference comes is whereas jamba as an open model requires extensive independent fine tuning to ensure that the output is safe accurate and relevant we have already done that heavy lifting for jamba instruct to make it ready for immediate implementation so technically it doesn't seem like they are going to open source this model which is a shame given that this is a completely new architecture and people would have obviously got a good hands on with this model which might have accelerated this alternative architecture growth if you were to you know avoid transformer based model but by hiding this model behind the paywall i'm not sure how many of let's say enterprises would give this a try honestly speaking i mean you can create a free account and then start playing with the model which i might do as well but um, i mean if you release a video on torrent and if you release a video on let's say like apple tv plus you can understand the difference in the number of people downloads and all the other things so it's a shame that ai21 labs have not released this model yet maybe i have missed a part of the announcement but uh, either way i think this is an exciting time for alternative architecture like mamba and uh, mamba based jamba instruct is here with really good benchmarks and also the model is available for you to use within ai21 labs if you were to see you in another video happy prompting